Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how I use Notion to take notes and keep myself organized to learn faster and remember better. So let's get started. If you're not taking notes, I highly encourage you start taking them, whether it's for learning new things or solving challenges, etc. You've probably seen that in my live hacking sessions. For example, when I solved the Vol Begin or Vol Lawyers CTF challenges from ctfchallenge.com. And in this video, I'm going to use Notion because that's the tool I've settled with. Before, I've been using Bitbucket and Git repositories, but I felt it's kind of adds a little bit of an overhead for me to every time pull, commit and push my code. There are many tools online, but this is the one I've felt comfortable with and I loved the user experience. So let me show you how you log in. So I've just logged out and as you can see, you can sign up or log in and you can choose many ways to log in. So I just going to use Google. I'm going to use my test account. And right away, you see that you land on your own dashboard for your notes. Now, don't feel too overwhelmed with all the templates that are provided with the tool. I personally like to stick with the basics. And this is what I'm going to show you. What I like to do is start with a parent page, which will be my, let's say, category. So if you want to solve hack the box challenges, I would name it hack the box. And just like that, you have your own page. So what I like to do next is create sub pages. And to do that, you simply have to start your shortcuts by typing forward slash and page. Hit enter and you automatically get your page created. So let's say this is challenge one. If I go back to hack the box, I see that my page exists now. If I want to create a new one, I just click away and then do the same thing. Page, hit enter and challenge two. If I go back, you have both of them. If you want to create a table containing uh, multiple pages, you just type forward slash and then table you see that we have many templates to choose from. And I like to use an inline table. And here I can say challenges list. And each entry here will be a page and we can click on this to open it. So let's say it, this is a sub challenge one and maybe sub challenge to. The cool thing here is that I can search by pages. So if I type two, I automatically get only the pages that match my keyword. And when you open it, you land on that page. You can add your tags. I don't really use them much. And you can add your own properties. I want to add a date. So just have add a property. And then it automatically detects that it's a date and your date is added. But the bread and butter for my note taking strategy is how I fill up pages. And because I'm taking notes for basically challenges that I solve or learning new things, usually it's just text, uh, code and images. So what I like to start with is a heading. It's simply just heading um, forward slash and then H and it automatically populates a list with predefined headings. I want to start with heading one and typically in any challenge I start with enumeration. And this is where I like to create content, sentences that describe what this paragraph is all about and then I simply create a block of code. And to do that, I just hit forward slash and then code, enter, and look at that. If you recall from previous CTF challenge that we've solved together, the Vaughn Lawyers challenge, I have started with enumeration and I created a block of code describing exactly what are the commands that I've used. And then we've 
looked at the web application and we found several vulnerabilities. One of them was an IDOR and here I can add a description or a screenshot of my vulnerability. So let's say I want to screenshot this. The screenshot is now saved in my clipboard. So what I can do is just simply hit Control V or Command V. And just like that, you have your image right away. And here I can add a comment. This is the main web page URL. And you can resize it as you wish. I can show you a real account that I'm using. And this is the offshore lab I've done previously. It's been more than a year now and I still have my notes here that I can access on my phone, my web browser, on the desktop, and it's available at any time. I really like that. And as you can see, I've organized things into sections using the titles that I've shown you. I've uploaded a file, which is the OpenVPN connection pack, and I've organized all the pages inside a table. So if I want to look for um, SQL, you can find the page related to SQL. I you can see that I've added a attribute for storing my flags. And here I have the same pattern every time. Some text, some block of code, some text, some block of code, some titles, and maybe images. The cool thing about this is that I can search through those pages using shortcut command P. So in this case, if I want to look for Mimikatz, you see that I have a list of all the pages that contain Mimikatz. I can filter only the page I want. So for example, hack the box, and this will give me just the pages that are under the page hack the box. And when we talk about page, it's not just a single page, but rather the, let's say the parent page, because we've defined this as a page and inside it, we've created other sub pages. So if I want to look for enumeration, I can filter by page and select the root page CTF challenge. And this will bring me all the pages that contain that keyword. And when I click on that, I automatically get that text highlighted. So it's a really, really interesting way to take notes quickly without any hustles and having those notes available everywhere, every time. And finally, if you want to export your pages, you can simply do that by just scrolling to export. Let's say you want to push that into your favorite Git repository. In this case, you may want to use Markdown. But if I want to export, let's say, an exam report, I simply use PDF and then export it. And if I open it, I get a really beautiful PDF page ready to be sent to my recipient. So I hope that you've learned something new. The most important thing I must stress is the importance of taking notes. And it's sometimes hard to do that because you don't have the right tools. But with Notion, I found that it's it really helps pushing you towards taking notes more easily and making them accessible to you whenever you want and wherever you want. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below how you found it, what is your favorite note-taking tool and how you like to use Notion. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on Training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week.
If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.